Hello pretties, welcome, I can't talk, welcome to Bipsarel. So today I got uh, one of you guys let me know that you guys would like to see a video of doing a get ready with me while putting on all that new makeup that I've bought in the first four months of the year. So that's what we're doing today. We're doing a get ready with me. Um, I actually have not primed and prepped. And the reason for that is because I actually have prime and prep items that I actually have not opened because I was trying to finish some of my other stuff before opening them. So we're going to do that together. Also, I know I haven't posted in the last like week and a half. I've missed at least three videos at this point. And I mentioned it, I think, in the very last video that I posted that I am, that I did have family come over. And then I got into an accident. Like, not a bad accident like that, but like I went on my morning jog and I fell and I tripped. You can see this over here. And anyway, I sprained my ankle. And so coming upstairs to like do my makeup, I was like, yeah, it's not happening. <laughs> it's not worth it. So I haven't posted <laughs> because of that. But anyway, um, it's still not 100%, but it's a lot better now where I don't feel as bad of a good going up and down. So I did buy the Rare Beauty uh, primer, oh gosh, the uh, eyeshadow primer. And I have, I, I have tried it because remember I had the little mini ones. And after trying those mini ones, I was like, oh my god, I really enjoy this. So I ended up buying the full size one. Oh my god, there's something in my eye. Oh, it must be an awful feeling. Okay, so we're just gonna put a little bit of that. I think that should be enough, but I guess we'll find out. I'm not really sure how much is enough. And it does have a bit of pigment because look, it really does cancel out some of the colors. Um, I do remember I really liking it and remembering that I didn't have to set it. And so I'm not going to set it today just because I'm pretty sure I'm going to be good without it. I really do like how it's like canceling out a lot of those colors. And it's almost 100% dry already. So I don't particularly... I'm not worried about it. Alright. Now let's open up the next one and let's do the face... Is this what it looked like? Always Optimus Pore Diffusing Primer. I mean, it's the correct one. I guess one pump. Maybe not. Ooh, that was, that was a nice little squirt. <laughs> All right. This is normally where I need the most pore diffusing. It's like right here. But I do remember this being quite hydrating smells really good. I don't think I noticed how it smelled before, <laughs> but that smells really good. Oh my goodness. I really like that smell. So the reason why I haven't been opening this is because I really want to finish my other primaries before opening them. So I'm really hoping that now that I've opened them, I can still like prioritize the other ones and try to finish them and not just try to open and use these ones now. <laughs> so I guess we'll see. We'll find out. And then I have my, the only palette I bought in the first four months of the year. I will say though, this is so hard to open. Nope. Okay, I have my little spatula thing. This is what I've been using to open it. I usually just not close it, but I guess I had closed it and I put it away. But, anyway, um... Also, while we're here, I placed a huge order <laughs> for BK Beauty because I saw that there was the Mother's Day sale, so I bought a ton of shit. I bought one, two face brushes. I bought the brush for foundation and cream products, and then I bought this one for concealer. So we're gonna try those today, and then I also bought a bunch of fluffy then like brushes this one's really interesting to me because it reminds me a little bit of the scott barnett's one um so this one is the bk 205 and then this is what the scott barnes one looks like which they're not quite the same this one's definitely more angled and a little bit more tapered um but they are somewhat similar in shape anyway i bought them on a massive sale so here we are we're gonna try them today as well <laughs> since we're trying new stuff um, so that being said, 
I know what I want to use for so I have an idea that I want to do a really smoky like just all matte uh, eye uh, so I'm, I'm only going to use these two shades right here and then I'm going to just use a little bit of that one so I'm going to I'm going to essentially use these two brushes only for the most part <laughs> alright so this is a BK202 and it's really big and fluffy and a little tapered but not too too much Oh, I picked up a lot of product and a little bit of kickback. No concerns, no so far. And yeah, these ones are honestly really pigmented. I and they blend so easily. I'm really impressed with the uh, formula. It's actually, like I said, quite pigmented. It's way more pigment than it looks in the pan. So that's what that looks like. A little easy peasy, I guess. Anyway, while I had family over, I think I mentioned to you guys before, and that's why, like I said, I wasn't filming. While all that was happening, I finally went to the indoor water park that's in Round Rock here in Texas, and I'm so glad I did. Because <laughs> otherwise, I would have never gone. It was so much fun, and I didn't get sunburned, and I still got to do all the slides and all the fun stuff. So it was really nice. That blended really easily. Okay. Onto the other side. Jesus. There is a bit of kickback. Alright, anyway, so I've, we finally got to go and I was so excited. It was so much fun. And I was telling my boyfriend, I was like, we should probably get passes because we ended up buying the. So they have like cheaper passes that you can go if it's after 5 o'clock. And so that's what we did. And it was. So that's what the ones that we got just like 5 to 9 because it closes at 9 o'clock. And we actually got to do everything that we wanted to do, and it wasn't as crowded, and we had a great time. So we were like, yeah, we should probably do that more often. It's only like a 15-minute drive, and we get to go to the water park. And it was so much fun, and I haven't gone in a while, and I got on every freaking slide, and I convinced my boyfriend to get on every slide with me. So it was, it was nice. It was really nice. I have such a hard time blending this outer corner, but I've been using the LA Nikki... I, I, I'm gonna leave her channel below, but she's like a professional makeup artist, and she's actually friends with uh, what's it called? Um, the owner Lisa from BK Beauty, and she actually has a collection with them. Uh, I think that's where. No, no, no. This one's from the Angie. I am pretty sure I did end up buying a brush from that collection, but I don't remember which one that is. It's fine. All right, and now we're gonna go with the smoky blue, uh, brown shade and we're gonna smoke the shit out of this <laughs> Ooh, that really that's spreading the color pretty well and it's dispensing it exactly where I want it and it's not patching or catching on like weird spots and it's dispensing it all the way to the lash line that's exactly what I look for for a big a uh, fluffy smudge brush like this is that it actually like packs it evenly and not just on like certain areas because sometimes I have a hard time getting it like right in the bottom area but no that dispensed really easy and I'm just packing it in everywhere putting it a little bit in the corner easy peasy okay now I gotta wash and get the other brush that I was using was this it this a, was this the brush that I was using I can't tell oh man I just put it down well, I guess we will find out. And I'm just gonna blend those edges. Huh, that's interesting. It picked up some of the color that I had already put down. Interesting, very interesting. So I'm just gonna keep on blending the edges so it looks a bit smoother. Gaia, what are you doing down there? Gaia's all the way in the back of the in the corner where the desk meets the wall for whatever reason so that's interesting i suppose okay i'm having a hard time diffusing or maybe i just can't quite see it as well it looks like it diffused so i guess it's fine but we gotta add some pigment back because it picked up right there it was weird the way it picked up though Strange. Okay. Yeah, 
so just softening that a little bit. All right, I'm gonna do the other one. I and I'll be right back. Okay, okay I'm back. I think it blended really, really well. I don't know what it was that was like picking up, but I was able to lay it down pretty easily. So I guess no concerns, no harm, no foul. And I'm gonna use the Natasha Denona color corrector, which is the technically I have actually bought a new color corrector. I finally bought the Cali Rate one, but I didn't buy it in the last in the first four months of the year, so I'm not gonna do it. I was about to do it when I use my fingers, so to have it, so I'm gonna use the the brush. I really, really like this color corrector. Um it just does such a good job. And if your dark circles are as dark as my dark circles, you understand. It's actually quite pigmented and it just does a really good job of canceling them out, which I enjoy quite a bit. And this is actually doing a really good job. It's blending it really well and it's not leaving any like streak marks on it, which I was surprised because it's actually fluffier than I thought it was gonna be. Like it's it's dense, like in the in the center it's dense, but as it like edges out, it's not as packed anymore so with fluffier brushes I feel like they don't work for this area you need something denser if that makes sense but also it gets soft enough so that it doesn't leave streaks so I, I understand now what they were trying to go for but I'm really quite impressed because I have this is such a hard area to get a good brush for but that worked really well okay now I'm actually with Natasha the Nona concealer and there we go Look at you. Ooh. Ooh. We're just gonna let that one stay for a bit. While that's happening. Shit. I'll be right back. Okay. So I think, or not think, I'm pretty confident I found my shade in the House Labs foundation. This is one that I bought in the first um, four months. It's actually the only foundation I bought, and it's the only one I think I'm gonna buy for the entire year. I've heard so many good things about it, um, but I'm 230 light, medium, cool. This threw me the fuck off because I'm like, I'm a olive undertone, and, but it has like a peach undertone, which is pretty close to mine. And the, the tone, the, the color itself was pretty close to me. So I, I actually think this is a pretty good shade match. You guys are, it doesn't quite look it, but let me just blend it out. <laughs> Promise it's a good match. <laughs> And what is that foundation brush? I do like foundation brushes that are this size because I have a couple, or this shape. I have a couple from Lauren in Los Angeles. See if I can find one. Hold on. Okay, I found the one from Lauren in Los Angeles. This is actually significant. It's a bit smaller, but it's actually way, like the density is way less and it's quite thinner. Um, I don't know. This, I really like it regardless. If it's like thinner, I, I don't know if this is gonna make it better or worse. I'm assuming it's gonna make it better if it's fluffier. But I always start out with my neck, just blending the shit out of it. There you go. Then go into my chin. And I don't think you need a lot for this foundation. And see that blended really well. There you go. Alright. I forget that I'm really blind and I'm covering myself and you guys can't see anything to try to remind myself not to do that isn't it so satisfying to put foundation on it is like one of my favorite steps to do it's just so satisfying to like spread it and then see like the entire like your skin tone like even out because you know you your cheeks are one color the this is a different color whatever this is a different color than that and so just seeing that all just like even out is so satisfying I don't know if I'm the only one that finds that. I like watching foundation reviews, not because I'm interested in the foundations, but just because I like to see people put foundation on. <laughs> Is that strange? Is it just me that does that? It can't possibly be just me that does that. But it's just so satisfying to put foundation on. I don't know what it is. So nice. I really like this foundation. I wore it yesterday. I was, um, I, I took, I put it on for work at I, I had it on like at 8 30 in the morning and then after work like right after work i ended up going out with some of my girlfriends last night and we went to um like cocktail bars we were just trying to find like new cocktails and like taste it and whatnot it was actually a really fun time we went to like three in the 
um, downtown Austin area. And it was so much fun. Um, I normally would go with my sponge to just like, just like touch it up to make sure there's no like streaks or like too much product anywhere. I am going to do it. I actually don't see any streaks, but mostly just to make sure that I don't have like excessive product at any area. Uh, and that has nothing to do with the brush itself. It's just, I don't know, it's just habit, I guess, at this point. That, and honestly, I, I think with the brushes, it's, it's, it's harder to, like, can tell where it is that there's too much of anything. Okay, so I'm going to blend out this concealer a bit. Not too much. Ooh. And... There we go. I'm going to put my second coat of concealer, which I know what you're thinking. Bitch, are you crazy? I'm not. You got to trust that my dark circles are really dark. <laughs> and I don't trust them, motherfuckers. Where's I'm going to use my Milani one. Just put the tiniest little bit right there. Just where it's needed. While that sits, we're going to grab the bronzer. So this is the only bronzer I've bought or contour, whatever you want to think about it. And it's the M Cosmetics one in the shade Terra. So it's gonna clean up right here, 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 and here. It's definitely more of a contour shade. There's those like cool tone undertones. It's hard to explain. Anyway, um, don't want to use this brush even though technically it is what it's for fuck it I guess it's for the purpose of the video I normally would do this with my sponge but I'll just use my oh that blended out really nice anyway what I was saying we ended up going uh, we I met up with my girlfriends like around seven o'clock we, we left to go downtown and we didn't even leave till like midnight and so I had my makeup on from 8 30 to midnight and at the end of the day I think it was like 11 or 10 of 10 maybe uh, we were at this outdoor um, like area and they were like how is your makeup still on how long have you had it on I was like oh since this morning this is what I took to go to work and they were like no way how does it still look so good and guess what foundation I was wearing the one from house labs it, it wore really really well okay well that's not quite blending the way I would have liked for it to blend like, I don't mind how it's back here, but it's not blending how I would like for it to blend right here at the front. Yep, because I had too much product, and it, and brushes don't really pick up the excess the way a sponge picks up the excess, if that makes sense. But, okay, that was fixed. It's fine. It's not the brush's fault that I put too much product. Okay. But I still have that contour effect. Perfect, 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 perfect. All right, we're gonna do this with the concealer one more time. We're gonna spread it out right in where, right where it's needed, where my darker circles are the worst. I did touch up my makeup before I went like out, out and not like a full touch up. I just did like setting spray because my face gets my face gets so dry because I can have really dry skin. Um, I don't think I think if you have oily skin, I don't think your that foundation would have lasted that long. But I, since I have extremely dry skin, ain't nothing moving on this face. Ain't nothing moving on this face. So we, we were fine and it lasted a really long time. It, it looked really natural and it looked felt really comfortable. So it was perfectly fine. That might have been too much. Ooh, okay. Yeah, that was definitely too much. So for the uh, highlighter, I'm using the one from Fenty because I did, I get it. I got, got him <laughs> from the Fenty website. I don't know what else I'm trying to say, <laughs> but I got it from the Fenty website. Here you go. So no concern there either. Um, they're honestly more pigmented than I thought they were going to be when I got them. And that bronzer one is way darker than I thought it was going to be. I don't know how to use that bronzer one. 
Um, I know that a lot of people use like the bronzing drops. I think I'm gonna try to use the other shade because it came with a little mini duo. Um, so it's this golden shade that I can actually use, and it was the bronzy shade that I. It's too dark to use in this in in this capacity, like an actual highlighter. So I think I'm gonna gonna have to um, try to use like bronzing drops, which I, but I've never used bronzing drops. I'm not 100% sure how to use them, so I have to watch a couple of videos. And then I guess sort that out. There you go. I am gonna use like my excuse me. I'm gonna use my regular powder <laughs> um, because I don't I don't have any new powders. So I'm gonna do that off camera and then I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I on top of doing my powder, I also did my mascara and my eyebrows, my brow gel because those are not new either. <laughs> um, so there's that. What I am needing is a little smudge brush because I haven't smashed the underline. So I guess this little pencil one will do. And I'm actually gonna go with the softer shade. Look up, look up. Ooh. Just put that in the lower lash line. I did put mascara in my lower lash line already, which may have not been my smartest move, if I'm being honest. So there you go. I know my under eyes were looking crazy. They were like so bright, but then as soon as you put the powder, look how much that color, you know, diminishes. My it actually looks like it, you know, matches just right. I'm gonna do the other eye, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I already did this on the other side, but it's just the highlighting the inner corner, going a little bit right here, and then in the brow bone, and then just. Blending it down a bit. There you go. Oh my god, the lighting was so bright for a second. That's it for that. Let me not close it. <laughs> All right, let's put some blush, and I have the one from M Cosmetics. Again, this is the only blush I bought this year, and it's actually like a glowy, but yeah, it's a really interesting one. It looks very muted, but it actually has like a reddish undertone. I don't know how to describe it. And it just has the softest like glow to it i really really end up liking this blush like i was actually quite impressed with the formula as well look at that i may have gone a little overboard <laughs> that's okay we'll we'll calm it down calm it down right there with the sponge and the setting spray ah, so pretty yeah definitely went overboard <laughs> See, this doesn't quite look like it, does it? It looks like it's slightly reddish. It was really interesting. It, it's really interesting, the undertones of it. I really like it. It's really pretty. And again, I just really like the the, the glow. And I've never been one to like, like um, glowy blushes, but this one's not like sparkly. It's just glow. It's the best way I can describe it. It almost feels, or it looks like a liquid blush, if that makes sense. I definitely look clown right now. So we're just gonna blend it out right here in the apples a little bit with a big fluffy brush. That's gonna tone it down. Something went in my eye. Okay, for what's really gonna quote unquote fix it. Ooh, let's get the set spray. Oh, that feels so good. If you have dry skin, just like putting some uh, setting or technically that's a finishing spray. Just putting some finishing spray on feels amazing. And then I just like to press it in. And I start with everything and then I finish it with my cheeks because this is what needs the most time to like really dry so I don't accidentally pick up product. I'm beating the shit on my face right now. But you see now it's come down quite a bit and it's blended out a little bit more. Same thing, the, the sponge ends up picking up any extra stuff. It looks still quite intense on camera, but over in the mirror it actually looks way more subtle. Which I enjoy. Alright, I had bought some stuff from Persona Cosmetics and I ended up getting a free gift with purchase of the shade Nano 210. I actually ended up declaring it to my sister, my sister ended up coming um 
well she was one of the people that was here right from because I have family over and so I gave her the one that was unopened um, this is the one that I already had because I already owned it but since I did technically enter my collection I figured I might as well use the lip liner so that's what we're doing it's just the prettiest like nude mute mauve undertone it's so pretty I have this time you I really needed to get rid of the other one it's not even been sharpened for the first time which actually I'm getting close to needing to do that it's so hard to talk and do this at the same time so sorry but last couple of seconds are really boring Nothing I can do about it. Oh shit. It definitely needs to be sharpened now. And I think we're done. So I bought that liquid lipstick from Colourpop because it was the Ulta Blooded one. And I said I really like the stick one so I figured maybe I would really like this liquid one. I don't. It's not bad, but it's not good either. Anyway, you definitely need to top it with something else. Oh, I never tried it with this lip liner before, but I'm kind of glad I did because it looks really nice. I wish I knew how to overline my lips because I can see that they have a little room, but I just don't know how to do it. Not properly. Okay, I gotta give it like 30 seconds for this to like dry. Honestly, I'm kind of disappointed that this look turned out so good because I have nowhere to go. I have nothing to do. And this makeup is probably gonna have to come off shortly what a waste um but the color see it's a lot more pigmented than it looks it's a lot more pigmented and it's not the same as the stick one because the stick one you can like do really soft or really dark and you can just kind of pick and choose what you want guy what are you doing weirdo <laughs> anyway and the last new product that i'm gonna try on for today is going to be the summer fridays I finally got one. I feel like everyone and their mother has been talking about it for like two years and they're still talking about it. So I was like, it has to be good if people are still talking about it. And so I'm just going to use this to top it off. I will say though that this liquid lipstick or this blotted lip works really, really well with other products on top. And I think that's what makes it better. And pairing this up with something hydrating like this actually works really well because this is actually quite drying on its own. Uh-oh. I went a little too high. <laughs> I got it all over the place. There you go. Finish look. I really like it. See, the blush feels a lot calmer now. It's just a shame I have nowhere to go. I have nowhere to go, nothing to do. I was going to watch and sit at all weekend to watch telenovelas. But anyway. Please do not forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.